into analytically. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so what value is that going to bring to our current clients or our future partners? No, absolutely. So I think it's huge. It's huge from a, uh, a mutually beneficial standpoint. And I stress that, a mutually beneficial standpoint, because there's a whole aspect. The recruiting industry is a $180 billion industry and growing. Now, we're focused in very specific areas of, of med tech, pharma, and within biologics, we're gonna be very specifically focused in cell and gene therapy. We're focus, uh, focusing on the microsystems within those areas that are, that are growing extensively. Um, so, but the reason why it's important from a mutually beneficial standpoint is because if we understand how to do what we do really well, and we understand the areas that companies need talent, we understand what people are looking for, and we're focused on our own personal growth within that area so we can have more fruitful conversations. Mm -hmm. um, and that ties into why we go to the conferences, that ties into why we sponsor. We certainly want to get back to the ecosystem as well, not just be a taker. We want to be a, a giver from that standpoint. I think bringing value is extremely important in whatever the inter interaction is. So that's important, but that should be a really positive situation because we look at our outcomes, how we do things, and what gives us the greatest opportunity to be successful. Yeah. And in a sense, that's being handed off to whoever we're partnering with. So that's great, but the analytics is going to take this to a whole new level. It's almost similar, I'll talk about compensations, right? So we could talk about, you could ask me about, you know, senior regulatory affairs position, director of regulatory affairs, or most quality positions. I could tell you, regardless of the state, what the compensation should look like for it to be probably in line with the market and then based on how hard the market is really what it needs to be to attract somebody yeah. if you want top talent right mm -hmm. so that's great now we have labor iq which has been another new tool that we've added here over the last year or so it's been really positive how for the first time i've looked at others opportunities to look at data over the last you know seven and a half years and most of that information was not up to date, it was not good. It was not as accurate as the real-time data in talking to the talent marketplace, which we're doing every single day. So it's really nice that Labor IQ actually matches up with what we see in the marketplace. It's been a great tool. So now from that standpoint, I can go to a client and be like, hey, you're trying to pay. We, we had a recent example of a partner that wanted us to work on something. I looked at the position, I'm like, okay, I worked on a position similar to that eight months ago. You are literally 20% below what that position paid and then was able to use the labor IQ data and show that the, the truth of the matter based on the years of experience and the area that they're in, they were more like 40% under market. So what are the chances that you're going to fill that position? So that example of, of compensation and being able to share real data, not just from our day-to-day -day activities. And the, the outcomes are really valuable from that standpoint because you can't get you know, nine out of every 10 offers accepted over seven and a half years if you're not being transparent with your, with your partners, whether that's the candidate or the company, or you're pushing or selling towards the wrong company, right? So that compensation piece, we have a lot of credibility there to our partners from the data and from the experience. But now with the Labor IQ example, we can actually share real data that backs up our experiences. So in terms of what that relationship looks like and, and that trust for the partnership, I think that benefits that. That's one specific example, but if you look at how we're continuing to grow and scale, we, we doubled in revenue 2021, we've grown by 80% here in 2022 in a challenging market. So that, that certainly says something, and I think that's a nice, uh, that backs our outcomes. But when you look at analytics, how we're going to be smarter as a company to grow in a stable manner, we're going to make better decisions on how we partner, and we're going to be able to tell a real story relevant to what their, their pain is and the right solution, we're going to be a better partner, and they should, for the right partner, they should be more confident that we can produce for them what they want based on the analytics tied into the outcomes.
in the same way that the compensation example. That's kind of how I look at it, if it makes sense. Well, I think it's also going to allow us to uh, track trends and, and see them, you know, as they're happening in real time. Because as we, we look at that data, I mean, the, the job market is much different now than it was six months ago. Definitely more than it was two years ago, right? It's changing rapidly um, as far as, you know, working from home, working remotely, hybrid type environments, compensation models, yeah. um, you know, what's important to, you know, prospective candidates. Um, you know, it's not just financial, it's the, the time off, the autonomy, everything that goes in with that is we can truly be a partner that's, you know, able to consult our clients on, this is what we're seeing that's important. This is the shift. And this is where it's going to be six months, a year from now, if you don't make the switch now, it's you're gonna be behind the eight ball because some of the competition is switching that. So it's just gonna help us just overall be a better partner. Well, and you know, the way I see it, uh, and both of you can speak to this more than I can because of experience, but you know, everyone keeps their own stats uh, in that drawer in your desk, everyone's got the thing and, and the hunch and the feeling. Um, but when you've got someone dedicated to taking those notes out of everyone's uh, desk, and you know, Angela can attest, I, I went searching for Excel sheets. Um, <laughs> but when you get them all and, and you're able to have someone who's dedicated to looking at that bigger picture and able to pick out those trends, those things that are coming, um, it, it's a difference of night and day. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's why you know, as, as SSI looks to become a recruiting partner and not just a firm, uh, it, it's that knowing of not only here's what we do, but here's how we do it, mm -hmm. uh, and here's why it works. And does this make sense for you? And it's not easy, you know, 70% of businesses don't make it, in, if you look at all businesses over a decade, essentially. Mm -hmm. And so as we move into our eighth year and where we're going to grow and continue to scale moving into the 10-year mark and on, I think that first three years is, you know, just trying to create an identity, trying to stay alive and, and be in business, figuring out some things, understanding your value prop, and being able to defend that and share that in the marketplace in a way that resonates, right? Mm -hmm. Then as we've started, as we've gotten into digital, as we've gotten into now being able to focus on the industry to bring value back to the market in the webinars, in the executive conversations that we're starting to do, um, industry insights, bringing information from the conferences back to our following, really just trying to bring more value to all those interactions. So the next step is we, we have the outcomes, we have processes, and that should, again, give a partner comfort that we're trying to get better so that we can be a better partner. The analytics is going to allow us to go to the next level uh, as we scale and continue to bring even more value to the industry in helping companies bring best in class talent to their companies to bring positive products to patient populations. And that's what I'm really excited about. And that's why it made perfect sense to make that move 